The goal is to register 2,500 new voters in working class and communities of color on Long Island, with a major mobilization that kicked off Thursday in Patchogue. Fabian Torres with Strong Youth is among the young people who will spend the next six weeks beating the pavement in an effort to convince those living in minority communities that registering to vote is a crucial first step in getting change to happen on issues they care about. People are really upset about the issues in the community. So I try to talk to people and convince them that their voice does matter. I try to get them to get registered. I just try to tell them, like, yo, man, you're not alone. If you all come together, our voice will be heard. Torres says he tells Long Islanders their vote matters on key issues, including funding for after-school programs and curbing police brutality. Among the key elected positions up for grabs in the November elections is the Nassau County District Attorney and the Suffolk County Executive. Alejandra Sorto with the Long Island Civic Engagement Table says four young people who represent local immigrant rights organizations will be devoting the rest of the summer and early fall working to get people to register. They want better schools, they want better opportunities, they want to improve the policing, so that's why the youth is so important to us. They're like learning how to do voter registration and they're going to take that knowledge back to their home organizations and continue the work over there. In addition to strong youth, young people from Make the Road New York, Sepa Muher, and New York Communities for Change are taking a major role in the Get Out the Vote effort. The mobilization was launched from a church that was a focal point in seeking justice for Marcelo Lucero, an Ecuadorian immigrant who was killed in a hate crime incident in 2008. Mike Clifford, New York News Connection.